Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Charcuterie. This is James and today we're talking to Batman because we are just a few short days away from the release of this film. The uh, embargo lifts on February 28th, so that is Monday is the day you're going to see all the critics, all the people who had early screenings, they're going to be allowed to talk about this film until their heart's content. They're going to be able to go off on it what they loved about it and what they did not love about it of course and then march 1st a lot of people are going to get to go see it and as the week goes on and as the month goes on everybody's going to watch it and then moon Knight's going to happen but today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, my favorite batman villain who actually is in this film his name is the penguin i'm a huge penguin fan but that doesn't mean anything because he's not the big bad he's not the the main antagonist and he is part of the rose gallery for Batman, which is exciting with Catwoman, obviously, and the Riddler and Falcone and whoever else maybe shows up in this or not. But I wanted to get into the Penguin because Colin Farrell, um, well, the whole cast and crew right now, Matt Reeves is everywhere. Um, the whole cast and crew is, is out right now doing press for the Batman. It makes sense. It's coming out in just a few short days. So yes, of course, they want you to pump you up. But Colin Farrell spoke with Entertainment Tonight because there is a Penguin spin-off series. There's the GCPD spin-off series as well, the Gotham Police Department spin-off series that they're working on, but also the Penguin one. Matt Reeves says they're not that far along on that one, which is kind of... I don't know, you think about it with how James Gunn was so fast with Peacemaker versus this one, but I mean, they're very different and the circumstances are also different, so I wouldn't read too much into that, but that's just, you know, it is what it is. They're not, they're not close on it, but the Penguin is happening. And so uh, Colin Farrell did speak with Entertainment t tonight, and this is what he had to say regarding that show. We have to get into what made him the man he is. And also, it will pick up where this film finished off i think i think it'll pick up a little short time after the last frame of this film feral teases of the series about penguin aka oswald chesterfield cobblepot we'll we'll get to go on a little kind of left turn off the world of oz and how he's how he's beginning to kind of dream of filling a potential power vacuum that may exist so these are the words from colin farrell about the penguins potential rise to power in the penguin show not in the batman spin-off of course or in the batman spin the batman film of course because in the batman film falcone is the the kingpin of this world and if you've read the batman uh, novelization, the accompanying novel, the prequel novel. Falcone's in it, Penguin is in it, and Maroni is in it. And Maroni is in prison. And Alfred asks how many times he's going to get in there because he keeps getting out, keeps getting out, keeps getting out. And what I'm thinking is going to happen in this film with the Penguin and with with Falcone is Falcone is the reason Maroni is in prison. I believe that's how the book plays out. And throughout this film, um, you're going to learn that Falcone is not a trusting fellow, clearly. But the Penguin's also going to learn that he's been being used. And I think the Riddler is going to release the information to the Penguin, whether on purpose or not. Penguin's going to come across it. And Penguin has his own hopes and dreams and aspirations of becoming the Kingpin. And the quickest way to do that is to off Falcone. And I think this movie is going to end for the Penguin with the Penguin killing Falcone, if you watch a lot of the interviews on the press junk, it's a very careful about what they say, but John Turturro has given little hints at his character's demise, and it wouldn't be shocking or surprising to see that, but I do think I'm I'm going to wager right now that the Penguin is the one that offs Falcone in the Batman, and I think it's going to be right at the end. It's going to coincide with you know the whole medley of the finale of the Riddler getting um, rounded up and his goons getting rounded up and everything coming to a head. And I think that's when we're going to learn. That's when we're going to see the Penguin strike down Falcone because Batman's not going to do it because Batman doesn't kill. It might be an accident. It might not. I don't think it will be. I think he's going to get far on it. But I think the Penguin, because of all that, he's going to learn that his whole life has been a lie and he's been abused by Falcone. And now it's his chance to rise to power. He can use what the Riddler released onto the world. The knowledge that the, the Riddler released onto Gotham 
Cobblepot can use that to propel himself forward above and beyond in it and it's the power vacuum and I think that's what they're alluding to and I think the show is going to and I think the first step is the death of Falcone and then I think this TV series show the remaining steps because obviously there are other mobsters in there there are other crime lords in there that he's going to have to work his way around to become the big cheese the penguin that we all know and love that he hates the name penguin but that's what's going to happen again we're only a few short days away so please give me a like and subscribe like this video but let me know in the comments below you think do you have any indication that the penguin will kill falcone how do you think this is going to play out and is the joker in this movie and if you have an email you would like answered and talked about on one of our roundtable discussions email us at digital at gmail.com and that's all for this video and until next time may you be the master of your 